Hey guys, welcome to Review Radar. In this video, I'll show you how to fix PS4 controller not connecting to DS4 Windows. So, firstly, do not mind that I have a dual sense. Uh, the procedure is going to be identical with the uh, PlayStation 4 controller. So, basically, things that are overlooked by people that don't really know how to use this app. The very important steps, I will run you through them. So, firstly, you need to go ahead and perform a controller driver setup. So go ahead into this uh, settings menu. Do not ignore the initial setup. When you initially, when you initially firstly launch this application, you will have uh, different steps here to perform, to install the actual drivers for this application, without which, of course, this app will not work. So the first step is going to be installing the uh, Vi GM bus driver. This will make sure that your basic mandatory driver is installed in your system and also you might want to install the head height driver which is the optional step number four that will actually work with the compatibility and the exclusive access of your controller in windows after installing this do not forget to reboot your computer after you've rebooted the second step to do to fix any issues with connectivity of your controller is by going to this device options right here and in here, make sure that you enable the DualShock 4 support. So this DS4 control support, make sure that it's ticked right over here. Because if you do not have this ticked, your controller will basically not be recognized by this application. Doesn't matter if you try to connect it wirelessly or wired, it's just not going to get uh, connected and recognized. So absolutely mandatory to turn on this function right over here. After that, the other thing that you may overlook as well is you go to the controllers tab and you just need to press this start button. Do not forget to press this button. This will basically start the actual application service and will make sure that your actual controllers, no matter which you're using, will actually be recognized by this application and automatically, of course, be working in your system. So these are the very short tips that I have for you guys to fix your controller not working. And also the last step that I would recommend, if you can't still fix these issues, this actually happened to me. So what you need to do, so as you can see, we have in our controller driver setup, we have this VM bus driver and we have a head hide if you did install this one. So absolutely just try to search in the control panel uh, for this app, for this uh, driver. So just type in VIG and it will find this driver and basically uh, uninstall this driver, then reboot your computer. After rebooting, install it again, then reboot once more. And this should fix everything. For me, it fixed everything. And I've had this issue as well. Nothing was working. I've also had some huge uh, exclusivity uh, issues as well. It's basically when uh, you have where it says exclusive access, as you can say, I have this check mark but it sometimes uh, converts into like a cross and it doesn't work. So it fixes all the issues basically. And uh, yeah, that's the tips I have for you guys. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.